everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy 17. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about envelopes. I know uh, there's been quite a few, a few videos out there on them, but I'm going to show you a little take on them. Um, instead of just grabbing the points and moving them around, I'm going to show you the toolbar and uh, actually the Docker and how it works. So first of all, you can find it under Dockers and then Envelope or Control F7 and it sits over here. And um, I, I made a, a little football, a little vector art football here. And what I want to do is I'm just going to put number one football fan <clears throat> inside each of these uh, little segments. This segment, this segment, and this segment. And I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, let's put number one. And then I'm going to, let's just use impact font. And then I will duplicate that control D and control V and I'll make this one say football and then I'll make this one say fan okay so what we want to do <clears throat> as you know an envelope uh, basically you could take a shape of something and put something into it so I could create a circle or a star anything you want so since these are basically shapes I could put these letters um, or words into that shape. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take this number one and I'm going to put it in the front of the football. So what you do is over here on your uh, in your docker um, there's some options here and, you, and what I want you to see is when I click on this shape here and then I choose this eyedropper it says create from um, it's, it's telling me what what do I want to create the shape from so I'm going to choose the one, I'm going to choose this eyedropper, and I can choose any object. I want to choose this first piece. When I click it, you'll see the shape is right there. The shape of the, the nose of the football is right here. And there's different um, methods they use to do it. For example, if I do horizontal, watch the one and the pound sign. See how it's kind of shaped it that way. Well, I don't really like that style, so I can actually try original and see how that, that looks. And that one looks okay. And I can go to putty. Apply, see how that one looks and it's just slightly different shapes the way it bends it and um, I'm not positive what the keep lines does but if you can watch watch when I go back to here if I hit keep lines you'll see it kind of tweaks that a little bit more so I'll turn it off and apply so I'm not really sure what what's actually doing here I'll apply that one and then I'll put keep lines and it kind of throws it out here a little bit so, not positive what that does, but I could tell it gives me a different shape. But I like the way that one looks, so I'm going to keep that. Then for the football, I want to basically take this and make it the shape of this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm going to create from this shape, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to apply, and on, see, I don't like the way I like that bottom of the L is. So, let's try another one. That one looks okay, and I don't like that one either. So... Let's try horizontal. Nope, I don't like that either. So original looks, whoops, putty looks the best to me, but let me uncheck this and see what happens. And actually, I like that one the best. So I'm going to keep that. And same thing, I'm going to click on fan, choose the eyedropper, the shape, and then I'm going to apply. And let's see which one I like the best. Nope. That one's okay. That one's okay. And I'll actually like that one the best. And let me do keep lines and see what that looks like. No. I like that. Okay. So now I have basically the shape of the football. So what I want to do now is I actually want to put these inside of here. Like this. If you can see that. So I could actually uh, take that hold shift, click on that one, do E and C, and it'll center it in it. I click the football, choose this size of the football, hit E to uh, um, align it uh, horizontally, and then C to align it uh, vertically. Click on that part, click on the end of the football, E and C, and now it's all lined up. But um, one thing I want to do is I want to actually uh, do something a little bit different. So I'm going to hold shift, 
click on football and fan so I have all three pieces together like that. Um, what I want to do is I want to create a football around this, around the whole thing. So to do that, uh, before I cut this up I actually had one, but I'll go ahead and create another one. Um, I'm going to use a contour tool. Actually I'll use this one here. It says uh, create a new object that surrounds it. So if you look, what it did was it put a line around each one. I'll show you. It put a line around every object. That's cool, but I want one object. So I'm going to go here to contour and I'm going to contour to the outside and I just want a little bit just like that just enough to go around the whole thing so it looks good to me I'm going to break the contour group apart I don't need the red one anymore I just really wanted this line right here is all I wanted okay so these are still separate pieces I'm going to go ahead and group these so that way if I select this and this and hit E and C it'll put my football right around it okay so that's good <clears throat> let's see now what I want to do is I want to give this whoops I want to give the football a color so I'm just gonna give it this dark brown I'll throw this in here and then I'm gonna hit shift page down to move it to the back and then I also want these pieces here to be in there so I could actually just hold shift grab them both and move them up here if I like just like that and I probably want them white so I can kind of see them and then the last thing I want to do is I want to get the laces up here so I'm gonna hit control D actually I should have done it. I'm gonna back up back up back up back up okay I'm gonna actually make a copy of these two uh, stripes here control D put them up here make them white take the laces control D Oops. Laces control D and I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna go shift page up to bring it to the front. The thing is I don't like the way that looks, so I'm gonna knock this through uh, the football. So I'm gonna hold shift and select this outside of the football because I want to center this. So I'm gonna hold the the laces, shift and click the football and hit C so it centered it perfectly straight. Now that this is straight, right? Now that this is centered, I want to move this up a little bit. So let's move it right about there. Now I want to add a, add a contour to this because I want to knock it out the back here, uh, uh, the word football. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the laces, click on the contour. I'll zoom in so you can see. I'm going to say 0.1 of an inch to the outside, and that looks fine to me. So now what I want to do is I want to break this contour group apart then I want to select the gray outside select my word football and click on trim now what that did was if I take this gray part away it actually trimmed around the football so I could throw that away and that's how I created this look so I mean uh, now if you're going to do this in vinyl of course um, you can cut off that can group all my white pieces together combine those so I'd cut this piece out um, I could cut my black part out, and of course I could cut my background out here. Whoops! Uh, the football itself. So that's how you use the envelope tool.